Gary, uh, thank you for uh, joining me today for Press Day for the Lake, uh, which premieres on Prime Video June 17th. How does it feel? We've been waiting a little while for this show. Thanks for having me, man. Yeah, it's, uh, well, we shot it last year. Yeah, it's, it's, it's been a little while coming. And yeah, I'm, I'm stoked that uh, Prime Video has it coming out this Friday. It's We're releasing in 240, I think, different outlets. So it's going to be a big release. And, you know, everybody gets to see it all at once. All eight episodes come out, so. I had the opportunity to watch a few episodes last night before this interview. And I love how it's like, not only we, it's a comedy, but there's also a little suspense. There's a little twist from the characters, yeah. as you can tell. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's about this, you know, really insular group, uh, you know, in, in late country and, and the foibles and, and the, and the pettiness that comes up in, in, uh, in these subcultures, but yeah, it's, I mean, We've got some pretty funny themes and and it's written really well by Julian Doucette and, and the rest of our writing team. Um, I thought uh, that's immediately what struck me as soon as I read it was was the quality of the writing. So it was it was funny off the page. So yeah. from what I see, like it's wherever it got filmed in Canada, it's very beautiful. Yeah, yeah, we we shot it in North Bay, Ontario. So, okay. so it's actually Lake Country. You know, it's just north of Muskoka. Um, for people who are familiar with Lake Country up there, just north of, of Toronto. Uh, but it was my first time up there, and it's one of the most picturesque places in Canada. Absolutely. What drew you to the project, and how did you get approached for the for the show? I got approached. Uh, basically like any role, you know, um, uh, through my agents and, uh, and the producers responded to, to my take on the character. Um, and it was probably about a year ago uh, that it all went down. Um, so initially I, I had turned the role down because comedy isn't really my wheelhouse. I don't particularly think I'm very funny at all. It's a super daunting thing to, to, to read something that's really funny and be like, Oh, I can nail this. You know, I think it takes a certain amount of balls to be able to like own that, but <laughs> I'm not that guy necessarily. Uh, I'm a bit of a chicken. So I was just like, I can't do this. Uh, but the next day, thankfully we, we called back because I was like, Oh, I'm a, I'm a dumbass. I this I really want this role, uh, and thankfully, you know, they they were still there with it. So, um, what drew me to the to the role was just the writing, man. You know, this is I play a guy named Victor Lin, who's an ex NHL hockey enforcer, married to Julia Stiles, who has two kids and is super woo woo and into Brene Brown, and uh, you know is is a very well-rounded three-dimensional character uh, that that as an asian canadian i don't get to read a lot you know um so the 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 comedy part was daunting but man from the get-go everybody it, it's such an ensemble uh, uh piece you know we've got actors and comedians it just it flowed and it all mm. came because of the writing the 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 writers really put down some really great material and uh awesome. and people delivered so hopefully people you, so when you booked a role like how did you connect with the character to prepare to play him and uh well was there anything you would change about him if you oh could? man i i grew up with with guys like victor Lynn. i grew up with hockey guys rednecks uh uh or or kind of like outdoorsy guys yeah. a lot of a lot of hockey guys though you know in calgary uh and in vancouver so um i grew up skiing so that was in itself is an interesting subculture. So, so yeah, there was a lot of fodder to take from just, just growing up in, in, in Calgary and in Vancouver, a bit of like all over Canada, mm -hmm. but just that mentality, um, I'm very familiar with and grateful for, you know, having experiences yeah. with, but, uh, you know, like there's, there's just, there's so much good material, um, that we have in Canada and Canadian stories, you know, it's very relatable. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned uh, Julie Stiles plays your wife. Describe that chemistry between you two. Julie is a pro uh, from the word go. You know, she was she was there and 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 ready. And I think she was pregnant a little bit of the time as well. So, but you know, like, who doesn't love Julie Stiles? She's amazing. You know, she was she was great on set. She was an absolute pro, like I said. Uh, 
I feel like we had pretty good chemistry. We've, we've got a great relationship. You know, like I said, I, she sort of wears the pants in the family and I happily, you know, have her back in, in every decision. She's sort of the mastermind in, uh, in, <laughs> in all decisions made. Um, but yeah, you know, Victor's happily in tow to Maisie May. Yeah. And then you got Jared and Opal playing your kids. How fun yeah. was it be? How fun was it being their TV dad? Yeah, yeah. D uh, Declan and Jared were awesome. They were awesome kids. Uh, Declan plays a character named Opal, who Opal, is yeah. is definitely uh, a character that you know I think audiences will love. Uh, I think that he is. Uh, you know, he's just a whip, you know, like he, he owns every scene. He, he comes in and owns every scene. He's a scene stealer. Uh, and Jared, just look at him, you know, like he's a beautiful kid. So, you know, there's a lot of eye candy for, for those who like that. And, and, you know, there's some, some comedic bits with, uh, with, uh, with the rest of the cast. So, yeah, I think there's a bit for everyone, you know, like you said, there's, there's a, co there's a comedy in there, but there's also a little bit of drama going on and, mm -hmm. You know, so I think it's highly watchable. It's it's a sh it's half hours. You know, it's it's pretty quick. So ho hopefully it'll be highly di di digestible over the summer. So after I watched the first two episodes last night, I went on YouTube and there's already like reviews on the show. And one of the scenes they actually talk about is you and Jared coming out of the lake, and it's all in slow motion and everything. It pretty much yeah. you have you have Madison that's pretty much drooling, and then you yeah. have. Um, Jordan also there. Tell, tell us a little bit about that scene. What? Can, how can I put this in a word? <laughs> Terrified, because a you know Jared, who plays my son, is is twenty years younger than me. So I I wasn't. I kind of like when I initially read it, I kind of like glanced over it. I, I didn't really put too much to it. You know, I'm getting out of the water, fine. But then I went for the fitting for the for the costume fitting for the swimsuit and and it's a band and i was like okay cool but then you don't really realize what you're doing until you're on the day yeah so yeah um it was terrifying but uh i remember we had to shoot it a couple of times because we had some issues with the dock uh the first or second day of shooting i think the dock broke down and and we, we had to go back and revisit it and it was it was pretty cold but, you know, it is what it is. It's the Canadian, you know, Canadian fall. It's, you know, we're, we're pretty in. So, but yeah, that scene was terrifying. And uh, thankfully, a lot of film editing, a ton of CGI, mm -hmm. ton of makeup, you know, to <laughs> make it look. <laughs> so I mentioned uh, Jordan and Madison, you know, the, the stories evolved around them, but then you have Julia Stiles as the stepsister. Like, how was it now working with the rest of the cast? And the scenes you've the rest of the them. cast was fantastic. Yeah, this the story revolves around Jordan's character Justin, who comes back uh, from traveling abroad and breaking up with his partner to 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 re uh, re up his 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 relationship mm. with his biological daughter, who like, he gave up for adoption. So as they go up to their child his childhood lake, you know, he finds out that the family cabin has been bestowed to Maisie May, Julie yeah. Styles. That's when we all come in and uh, and the laughs start to kick in. But uh, you know, there's there's a lot of uh, there's a lot to work with. I think that at the end of the day, you know, like there's such a nicely puzzled piece of characters all put together in this you know little lakeside community that uh, you know it just it'll bring a lot of laughs and and I hope that people respond to it because you know we had a lot of fun shooting it. Yeah. So a uh, last question, like, what do you hope for when the viewers tune in for the first time to watch this show? What do you expect hope they get out of it? I hope they come out saying, wow, that was hilarious. First and foremost, that it was something new and fresh that, you know, uh, we've been waiting to see for a while. Um, and that the, and that people just laugh, man. You know, no, no greater expectation than, you know, for people to have a, a couple laughs and then take them out of their, their daily thing for half an hour. Or if you want to binge it for, for a day, you know, uh, I think it's a nice reprieve from what's going on. And, and, you know, this is, uh, there's always things, to, you know, find humor. And I think, and, and we have to look for those things. If we can provide a bit of it, uh, you know, with the help and support of prime video, then, then great. That's awesome. I was told to ask you, are we going to see you in a million little things again? Oh, I don't know. That's a good question. That's a good question. I gotta leave that door open. I gotta leave go. that door open. Yeah. So the lake, uh, June 17th on Prime Video. Terry, I want to thank you for giving me a few minutes today. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. Thank you.